Hi, this time I'm going to show you using force fields with pull on it in 3D Max. Let's create a cylinder and uh, shatter it in about uh, 500 uh, fragments, uh, creating rigid bodies on the fly. Okay, it's done. Uh, turn the color back and let uh, zoom in to check the fragments. Okay. And now let uh, simulate just for testing the fragment in dynamics. Okay, it is collapsing. Okay, let's stop this and now uh, we are going to add a uh, force fields to the scene. Uh, in this case, a uh, vortex field. You can actually uh, use any of them. And let uh, increase uh, orbital speed to uh, 1000 units to make it much more strong. Let uh, check affect fields for the fragments and simulate again with the force fields. Okay, now you can see how the fragment spin very fast because of the vortex field. And now they fall because uh, of gravity. Okay, nice. Now let us uh, create some uh, obstacles for the uh, fragments. Uh, a box here, another one in this side, and another one behind. Select all of them and open shadow it window and uh, let uh, shadow the boxes. Okay, turn the color back to gray and let's create a fracture body for all of them. Select all of them, click on create, click OK and let's uh, check by switch on stressor view and tweak some fractal parameters to make it uh, easier to to break okay now select the uh, vortex field uh, better um, select it in the window here yeah. Okay, and tweak some parameters, uh, extend the time off to 150 and let's animate the orbital speed so it starts uh, with 10 units and after one second uh, it becomes the uh, strong 1000 units. Okay, it is animated. And uh, now uh, let uh, switch the color to yellow for the cylinder for a better visualization. And let's compute dynamics again. Back in case this time. Okay the cylinder start to uh, spin and fracturing while the tower span and uh, it is supposed when the fragment uh, reach the boxes they are going to start to to fracturing because of the of the impact. Let's see.
okay. The tower on the left side is uh, fracturing, very nice, and the others start to fracture as well. Now it's collapsing. Okay, the other tower is collapsing as well. And uh, you can see the, the box behind is uh, damaged but not, co not collapsing. This is because uh, fracturing with wood on it depends on, on impact, and in this case, uh, the, the heat, uh, the strength of the heat hasn't been enough to make it collapse. Uh, you can uh, make it uh, collapse by tweaking some factory parameters if you like. Let's play back the result. Okay. And in another point of view. Okay on the top and play in real time okay spinning and breaking this is uh, using force fields we've pulled on it in max 